Hey everybody, Shane Brick Customs here with another little update. Uh, apologies for the lack of videos recently. Um, the primary reason behind that is the change to YouTube's uh, laws when it comes to the monetization of small creators. Um, so obviously with that now coming into effect and affecting me directly, um, it's a bit more um, of a struggle to get motivated to make videos. Uh, I may come up with a little website where I post my videos and pictures of my customs and tutorials, etc. to avoid uh, that new law that YouTube set up, um, but I'll have to look into that a bit further. Anyway, today I've got to show you a few customs and what I've been up to. Uh, these two cell casts on the screen, the yellow one and the blue one, are both available for sale on my eBay page, which there is a link to down below in the description. Um, but yeah, what have I been up to recently? Um, I'll just move these out of the way so I can show you. Uh, I've come up with a lot of new molds for existing customs that I've done before. Um, this is the newest one, which is a Annex or Anx. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce uh, the name of this alien species, but it's pretty recognisable in the Star Wars universe. Um, I've just redesigned it for my for my previous design to be a little bit more sleek and a little bit more accurate to the source images. Um, I just finished today a commission piece, which was a Ludo crash head piece. Um, yeah. Now this custom took a very, very long time to make, primarily because of the intricate casting and also the paint job. Uh, as, as you can see, it's a lot of fine paint work on these bits here. Um, the sort of headdress pieces that are coming down, but... Very happy with the way this one turned out, and I'll probably be making a few more of these for sale. Um, I've also finished or redesigned um, a character that I previously did, which was Nox. Uh, so this is the Padawan that Savage Press kills in the Clone Wars television series. So I've used a mold very similar to the Kit Fisto one. However, unlike the Kit Fisto one, this one is a rigid plastic rather than a rubbery material as Lego has used for their Kit Fisto one, which I, I just like a lot better. I've also tweaked the face uh, a little bit so it's a little bit sleeker and a little bit more, more in-fitting with the Lego style. Um, these ones are a little bit harder to produce. These Knox figures, I've already sold one, uh, and this one's for my personal collection that I've just showed you. Uh, they were pretty hard to produce, so I'm not sure if I'll be producing any more anytime soon. Um, I suppose it depends uh, whether or not the demand is there or not. Um, I've also done another version of Opo Rancis. This one again for my personal collection, because the original one I did was for a commission. Um, camera's not focusing that well, well, the lighting's pretty bad, so you can't see it that well, but... Done a little bit of uh, an addition to the top there, a little bit of a, a hair piece there. Um, what else have I done? Uh, Got to go grab it from the other side of the room, but I've done a redo of the Yaddle head cast, another one. This is probably the third one I've done in the space of probably two months. Uh, and this one here is much more in keeping with... Um, the movie design in terms of the way the hair is designed and uh, color corrected. So yeah, that's all I've got to show you guys for today. Keep your eye out on my eBay page because I'll be putting a lot more of customs up for sale. A lot of the ones that you saw today I'll be putting up for sale. Um, so check that out if you're interested. And any comments or customs you'd like to see, leave them below in the comment section below. Alright guys, thanks for watching.